I'm not even gonna, like, S5 or whatever. That's just a joke. Let's go straight to SS. I think I'm gonna say SS is probably. Just looking at this, the way it's worded, it's like quite a common trend with Gen 2, where SS, to actually do any damage, you need SS. That's where the character starts to become usable. And then at S rank, it's just like Copia. The damage is so nerfed. And then I haven't even tried her, and I'm probably not gonna, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably not even gonna try her with the five star. I wonder. I want to test her damage like this, and then I want to swap her out, swap the memories out, and test her with Da Vinci. The only problem is, I don't know. Like the damage difference between SSS plus Alpha and SS21 is gonna be disgusting. You know what? We'll test like this. But when we get to the point where we need to test Alpha, that might be just for that test, we might have to pump his HP and stuff. We might have to make some alterations. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know how this works, we just go for consistency here. So basically all I'm going to be trying to do is do her rotation as consistent as possible. No, I messed it up. It's okay, we got the full bar anyway. And I still don't have a whole. Okay, so like just down to 26 HP. Just for her basic hit and rotation at SS. With her 6 star weapon. And then we can see how much the damage changes if I call in QTEs. Yeah, so if anyone uses Da Vinci, it's actually 20. But that's one thing I wanted to test today. What does this cope with the old? It's like so close, but it's not there. There you go, just for calling in the QTEs, all the way down to 24. It's fairly consistent. Okay, so everything exactly the same, except the Vinci. See how we go. <laughs> no, I don't think she needs Da Vinci, but 
we were trying to see if the amount extra that Alpha got was better than having whatever this is giving 21. But it seems to be exactly the same at SS. And then because you can't put Da Vinci on Vera, because then you lose her shred. So the only other place you could put it is you know you can put it on Alpha. So I just thought it would be a cool test to see like what if the difference would be. I mean Da Vinci is あなたは獣逃げなさい逃げなさい勝てよそこで死から我が刃と勝て無駄な抵抗はやめなさい何でないよ宿命の風は私が断ち切る<笑> okay, that did even more damage <laughs> that's just because I actually did the rotation quicker and that yeah that that's that's pretty confirmed just use just use 21 memories on 21 there it is there it is right on cue now let's try it SS3. It looks like it should do a bit more damage. But I don't know how much difference to mark. Like, I think it's just speeding all the time. That's the only thing with this one. Is it's not a, it's not really a time test, it's more of a like consistent damage test. So it doesn't really take that into account. Oh, we still don't have all. <laughs> so we've got more damage, that's for sure. Like, barely half a HP. But for some reason, we still didn't get all. I don't know if that really does anything in normal play, but like, SS3, for me, I wouldn't bother, this isn't. You get a bit extra damage, definitely, but like, I'm not enough to care about. And then, the ultimate's the only bit where it's like, you kind of need to test that in play, like in practice, so you're in the exact scenario. But like, for the training room, it's not making a difference that matters in any way. I wouldn't bother with it. Testing PVC. I can't. Let's look. It's just advanced. And then I'll only get to chaos, I wouldn't even make it to hell. So, yeah. Because beta just kind of auto picks and stuff, you don't really get. I'm in a war zone. Not even open. And I never I never did this. It just says clear. Same as Norman. It's always on easy Norman. So it's not really. You can't really test there. It's not really accurate. It doesn't help understand anything better. At least this is more consistent this way. SS3 was ever so slightly more damage. Um, and ever so slightly alt charge quicker. But definitely not worth pulling a whole extra copy of her. Not in my opinion. I always miss the other 
Okay, so that definitely did more damage. Let's try and remember, because now we're playing triple S. Let's try and remember to actually do the uh, the three ping followed by a three ping, rather than three and one, so we get the full damage. <laughs> So like 22 and a half. Okay, that's pretty consistent as far as I'm concerned. 22 and a half. So I went from 24 uh, and a half from SS to 22 and a half at triple S. And SS3 was like 24 and a quarter. It like barely made a difference. It's just a tad quicker. And then we don't bother with any of this rubbish. Always just go all the way to triple S plus from triple S. This is as plus 21 your dream. But I open that wallet, boy. <laughs> I open that wallet and start crying. Yeah, that's pretty solid. There you go. Alright, let's see full all in max 8k BP whale 21. Okay, there we go. That's the weapon done. Thought the emulator was gonna crash again. Yep, 8k BP. Wow. Okay, so apparently Hypertrude Resonate is like 1k of the BP. That's crazy. I don't think of this one as well. It seems as if Blue Orb, apparently, is dealing the most damage. So I guess we'll go with Blue Orb. Oh look, Aki, look, we found a new game. It's like a small indie game. I know you've never heard of it before. It's called PGR. Punishing Global Region. <laughs> no more crashes, please. I don't know, just so you guys know. Uh, I don't know, because PGR is like, I'm not going to be posting it as often. Because there's just less to post about. So, I'm trying to find something that everyone's interested in. That I'm interested in. That uh, that I can start posting about that instead. And then when PGR is interesting, they start posting about PGR. Uh, that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna count that as 15. Right at the edge of 15. I don't. I don't think I could cope with like. The millions of this <laughs> Alpha's in a different league. Not even close. Two damage left, two HP left versus 16. And I'm pretty sure if I do that right, I'm pretty sure he actually dies. If, if I do everything to 